rival on the defense over some big money. Was it a cover-up? Another teen killed by Chicago police, a judge blasting the city for trying to keep evidence for the public, another black eye for the department and the mayor. In Chicago, a new chapter in the troubling saga involving that city's police department and its embattled mayor, a department that has seen its superintendent fired and one of its officers charged with first-degree murder in recent months. Today, a judge ordered the release of surveillance video involving another controversial police shooting of a young man. We get details from Stephanie Gosk. The grainy video shows 17-year-old Cedric Chapman running from Chicago police three years ago, suspected of stealing a car. Officer Kevin Fry says he thought the teenager had a gun and his partner was in danger, so he fired three deadly shots. All Chapman had in his hand was a box for an iPhone. The Chapman family is suing for wrongful death, a claim the city denies. In December, city lawyers attempted to block the release of the video. While that same week, Mayor Rahm Emanuel was being asked why it took so long to release another video, the police shooting of 17-year-old Laquan McDonald, the mayor promised change. A reinvigorated city that has the accountability, the discipline, as well as the transparency in place. But the city didn't drop its objection to the release of the Chapman video until yesterday, just before the judge's ruling. At a public event today, the mayor wasn't planning on answering our questions, but ultimately explained the about face. You're going to get to the bottom of something and get to the uh, justice is exactly with the U.S. attorney, FBI, and the state's attorney. November, the mayor's office has come under fire for how it handled the McDonald case. A few even calling for his resignation. We ask for transparency from the mayor. Be transparent in your conversation because many of us believe that the withholding of these tapes is for political games. Now attention is on Cedric Chapman. Since 2003, Officer Fry has 30 complaints filed against him, 10 for excessive force, exonerated each time by the Independent Police Review Authority. He should not be on the job. He Lorenzo Davis investigated the Chapman case for that review authority and recommended Fry lose his job. His decision was overruled, and months later, Davis was fired. I was fired because there were uh, several 
cases that um, I would not change my findings on. His job review obtained by NBC News notes among several criticisms that he refused to change his findings in disagreement with the entire chain of command. The city is fighting Davis's wrongful termination suit and maintains Chapman was shot justifiably, leaving some in Chicago watching yet another video and wondering whether Mayor Rahm Emanuel is ready to really reform. Tomorrow, the mayor is holding his annual Martin Luther King Jr. prayer breakfast, and an activist group has called for a boycott. Tonight, that group tells us that dozens have backed out in protest. Lester. Stephanie Goss, tonight in Chicago. There's a troubling new twist in Flint water crisis. Today, we've learned there's been a spike of cases of Legionnaire's disease in Genesee County over the past two years, starting around the time the city began drawing water from the corrosive Flint River instead of from Detroit. Let's get to Hank Winchester. He's live in Flint tonight where the National Guard arrived today. Hank? And Carmen and Steve, if you take a live look behind me, you can see volunteers and members of the Guard here not only unloading water from trucks, but also filters that just made their way here to this location. You know, one thing that is very important and one thing I think everybody can feel in this situation is that those impacted the most, unfortunately, are going to be children. That is exactly why. What's up, world? It's your man, Mr. Sam 44 Man, seen in over 202 countries and provinces around the world. You're tuned in to the Detroit Raw Show right here, only on YouTube. Did anybody out there hit that power ball? Y'all, I did a little bit, and I mean a little bit. Come on back and check me out. You're tuned in to the Detroit Raw Show, one of the hottest shows seen in the city of Detroit, coming out of the city of Detroit in 202 countries and provinces around the world. With your man, Mr. Sam 44 Man. Come on, let me see how much money y'all want. Coming, but many people you talk to today say they need help right now. This is the long line for water. It is freezing outside and all these people can do is wait. Imagine your daily life without clean, safe water. For thousands here in Flint right now, it's a reality. You don't want to drink it, you don't want to cook it. Uh, you know, it's crazy. Today, the Michigan National Guard rolling into town. Seven members of the Guard on the ground, just seven. More may be on the way soon. Probably spent between three and four hundred dollars of my own money on water so far since the crisis. Supplies still low, many firehouses without filters or testing kits, and families like this one struggling, dealing with illness, skin rashes, and concerned about the future. So has bathing in the water, it's caused you to have skin problems then? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll be itchy. After I get out the tub, Long lines today, many waiting more than 30 minutes just to get water. When will the people of Flint finally get the help they desperately need? We're not fighting, we just wait for some free water. What are they doing? They're not doing anything no more than the governor's doing anything. Well, Governor Snyder did speak out again today, not here in Flint, but he held a press conference in Detroit. And during that press conference, as we mentioned earlier, talked about the increase of Legionnaires cases here in Flint, trying right now to figure out whether that is in fact connected to the lead in the water. He also talked about the EPA, what the EPA knew, what they didn't, and when. Right now, I want you to take a moment to listen to what the governor had to say. Do you believe anyone that the DEQ broke the law, or did they just make mistakes? Again, that's there'll be people already investigating that, um, and I want them to do a thorough investigation. But you're ready and willing to talk to federal prosecutors if necessary? Oh, obviously. We already called to say we're ready to cooperate in any way needed. I want investigations to take place on this from the relevant parties that have those responsibilities because that's how we get to the bottom of what took place and how do we make sure it doesn't happen again. There you hear the governor today speaking out in Detroit to the media saying he's welcoming an investigation. In fact, one already getting underway to figure out who knew what and what, when. One thing that we know from the EPA, it sounds like the EPA started sounding the alarm here in Flint back in April. Right now, I want to bring in my colleague, local Ford defender Karen Drew, because Karen, I know you've been talking with your sources, and it sounds like more than a decade ago, people here close to the situation in Flint, when they talked about switching from Flint to Detroit at that point, 
they knew then there was a potential problem, correct? That's exactly what we found out. Hank is very sad, it's very disturbing and shocking. Found out back in the early 2000s, the same exact idea was introduced to city officials to start using the Flint River as a water source. But one former city official tells me what happened next, she'll never forget. Right away, that was taken off the table because it was a health issue. Trishel Young was Flint's city attorney from 2001 to 2006. She remembers when the idea of using the Flint River as a water source was introduced to city officials as a way to save money. We're a General Motors town, so there were a lot of pollutants, contaminants, um, not just human waste, but just chemical waste, pesticides, all types of things and pollutants that were in the water that would cause you to have to treat it in such a fashion that the savings would be just really not there because of the level and also the water plant was not in a condition to actually treat the water properly as a primary source. So when the idea was brought up again nearly a decade later, I'm thinking you got to be kidding me. The former city official was shocked. I know that the city has done previous studies from outside consultants that said that the, this water is not a viable source as a primary source. It can be a secondary source, which means only to be used in emergencies, but not ever as a primary source. Young tells me she says that they knew this, obviously, more than a decade ago that this switch to the Flint water was not feasible or healthy. There was no reason that this should be happening right now. We do have... Your man, Mr. Sam, 44 man, back here with ya. So, uh, hey, who hit that Powerball, world? I mean, I touched it a little bit, but as much as I touched it, it was just a little bit of chump change. But a little fifty-four dollars, you know, I, I'm appreciative. You know, I didn't have it. Well, I did have it, but. It's what I didn't have more, so it is what it is. We got a serious situation going on up here in Detroit, or up here in the state of Michigan. Residents in the city of Flint, Michigan, have been subjected to lead, straight up poison. And the killing part about it is, they've been paying for the shit. Two years. Two years, these people have been drinking leaded water. Now, here's how it all came down. The state wanted to call themselves saving on the budget, all right? So what they did was they went out here and switched from having Detroit's water that was furnishing towards Flint and went to go and use Flint's water. Now their water was decayed, the pipes rusted through, the people was asking what was up with the water, the water was brown, it tasted bad, they were bathing in it, they were cooking with it, and they were subjecting it to their children. Now, when the people started to complain about the water, the government and the city government and states went to go say, hey, it's nothing wrong with the water. It's just a little, you know, minerals in it. You we weird drink the water. Now come to find out, world, a doctor investigated this. She took it upon herself to find out was the water contaminated and found astronomical, astronomical lead results lead levels that were just incredible these people have been subjected to drinking that water for two years now the governor wants to come out and try to play hero just like when bush did with katrina it's too little too late we got citizens being asked 
gas to provide water for the city of Flint because the city of Flint does not have enough water for their citizens. So they're asking that you can donate water. Ain't that a bitch? Now Flint is one of our smaller cities in Michigan. If something happened like that here in Detroit, do you realize that we would not be able to have enough water? The governor has called in the National Guard. The fuck you calling in the National Guard for now? To help provide the water? You knew, you knew that this wasn't right. Sir, you deserve to be fired as governor of the state of Michigan, as well as being charged as a crime. You might as well went in there and assassinated those people. Governor Schneider. See, his disposition is keep the niggas in their place. Don't spend nothing on them. And if it comes to find that we got to do something, take our time in doing it. That's his disposition with black America. It's just not this governor. It's other governors around the state. Around the United States. It's same governors just like him. Sir, you deserve to be fired and prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. You are no worse than Adolf fucking Hitler. You knew that Flint was nothing but a city full of black people. A majority of black people. And you fed them people. Them people paid y'all for poison. Sir, you need to be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. You need to be jailed. Do you know, world, these people have been drinking this water so goddamn long that these babies, our babies, they are never going to come out of this. Fuck the people that's old as I am. The babies don't even have a goddamn chance. They're going to have learning disabilities and all kind of disabilities. That's your fault, Governor, for trying to ease up on the budget, trying to cut corners on the budget. You fed them people poison for two years, and now you can't even do nothing about it. Talk about the National Guard. What can they do? You asking citizens to bring water. Can y'all donate water? Are you fucking kidding me? Serious? I got to get them water? Why you can't give them water? I got to go in my pocket to pay people to give them water? What kind of state is this? See, when your happy ass governor, Snyder, was up there trying to veto the same-sex marriage situation when people voted not to have it here, you wasn't concentrating on what was going on in Flint, Michigan. You was too worried about having two men in bed with each other and two women in bed with each other. You was too busy trying to campaign that instead of trying to help them people from drinking that poison that they were paying for. You should be ashamed of yourself, Governor. How the fuck can you hold your head up? You know that you poison black babies. How can you look yourself in the face every morning and then say, I did the right thing? You know, everybody always trying to do something to hurt somebody else or the black race. You know, y'all still trying to persecute Bill Cosby. You know, y'all still want his ass in jail so bad. I'm walking in the grocery store the other day and I'm shopping and I see a, 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 a damn tabloid talking about Bill Cosby will die in prison. What the fuck is that all about? Bill Cosby has entertained y'all asses mainstream America for many, 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 many years. And now y'all want to see that man die in jail? Bill, whoever you pissed off, baby. Hey, because they was about to have you a show. You was about to have a show. You supposed to have a show on right now on NBC. They dropped you like a hot ass potato. The silliness is going on amongst our people. The silliness. You know, they caught that serial rapist. Now they got him on two, two. Another charge. Family said, oh, y'all got the wrong guy. Y'all got the wrong guy. Check this out. See how his family stuck by him in court today. Check this out. Oh, man.
accused of attacking and raping women across Metro Detroit was arraigned on a new charge today, uh, this time out of Gross Point Park. 18-year-old Darian Winfield was arraigned today on a charge of assault with intent to murder. Prosecutors say Winfield stabbed a 48-year-old woman in the face, neck, and chest as she walked in the 1400 block of Cachew. This was December 13th of last year. Winfield had this reaction when the judge asked him if he had an attorney. My mother said, ah, she, she got me a lawyer. She has a lawyer, she wants to put a bow, I don't see one, so, okay. She wants to hear this? No, sir. Oh. The victim in the Gross Point Park attack survived, but another of Winfield's alleged victims did not. A 17-year-old Janae Washington died days after she was assaulted in Detroit on January 7th. Winfield is a person of interest in that case. He has not been charged. So what you think about that, huh? Where was that family at, huh? It wasn't him! He ain't got nothing to do. They got the wrong nigga. Come on, man. They got DNA. Have you ever heard of that? DNA? Look it up. Give you something to do. Because he going to have a whole lot of time on his hands when they get through. Believe that. So, you know, world. Oh, by the way, they caught them other, uh, that female and that male that uh, killed the utility guy. Now peep this out, world. Now peep this. They killed the fucking guy because they didn't pay the goddamn gas bill. So they take the guy, they kill the guy, and they stuff him in a goddamn truck and burn up the fucking truck. Now how retarded can you be? 18 years old, okay? You done burnt this man on a murder, kidnap. What else charges they gonna throw at you? You just hit. Because you didn't wanna pay your bill. Wow. You know, world, I've been telling y'all a long time ago that these kids don't want nothing. And the reason they don't want nothing because they don't see nothing. They don't see no motivation. They don't see nothing that's gonna bring them. Every program that's coming on TV these days is not including our children. You understand? Here we got, then we just had a Golden Globe Awards. Wow. See, mainstream America really, really got to pat themselves on the back to make themselves feel good. So they got to be awarded and awarded and awarded and awarded. Now, this is one of the big ones. 88 years. You know damn well we wasn't that no the day it opened. Hell, we probably ain't been up in there in the last 20 years. It ain't really set for people of my skin tone color. You don't believe me? Check these nominations out. Nominations are out for the 88th Academy Awards. The Revenant leads with 12 nominations, including a Best Actor nod for star Leonardo DiCaprio. Mad Max, Fury Road, followed with 10 nominations. Both those films nominated for Best Picture, along with The Big Short, Bridge of Spies, Brooklyn, The Martian, Room, and Spotlight. But for the second year in a row, there is buzz and disappointment aimed at the Academy about the fact that no one of color was nominated in any of the acting categories. Well, world, how many did you see, huh? How many faces my skin tone color did you see? On some real talk, huh? How many? Still don't get it, huh? Still don't get it. But it's all good, though. One thing I want every black American to know out there, and I want every white American to know out there, and this is 100, because that's the way I keep it. But I know some of you are going to like it, and some of you are not going to like it. But I'm going to tell you anyway. You ready? Here we go. Black America. My fellow black Americans. Please. Pretty please. With sugar on top. Stop fucking thinking that we're going to be equal as mainstream America, okay? You can tap dance. Yeah, yeah, boss. Yeah, 
that mess? Oh, yeah, what must? But all you doing is entertaining their asses. Giving them the opportunity to say, wow, this is really a dumbass nigga here. You know, now, don't get me wrong. A lot of y'all know the people that I'm talking about. The Uncle Toms, aunties, and all them that be out there, you know what I'm saying, on the job. Yes, yeah, so up, boss, I'm gonna let you know anything these niggas up here doing, you know what I'm saying? Where y'all really, really, really wanna crack they fucking head, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, them type. That's the ones I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying? I got ghetto bird helicopters flying all over me. That's Channel 7 right there, you know, but, You don't have any type of respect for black America. So therefore, black America needs to wake the fuck up and start understanding. They killing us out here. Literally, our children, our babies are at risk. There's no way in this modern time that those people in the city of Flint is up there drinking poison and paying for it. The governor doesn't care, and I still say he should be fired and persecuted. You let those people take that poison, and you knew it. You knew it. If it wasn't for that lady going and doing her independent investigation, who knows how long those people would have continued to drink that water. You are no damn different than Adolf Hitler or Jim fucking Jones. Made all them black people drink that Kool-Aid, cyanide, and kill everybody. See what I'm talking about, black people? When you try to follow behind somebody else in mainstream America, you will set yourself up to kill your own self just for his God. Wow. That was a tragedy. Jim Jones, that was a tragedy. Have y'all forgot about that? Remember Jim Jones? What happened out there in Guyana? Do you remember Jim Jones and what happened? How he had everybody drink that Kool-Aid and all of them died. The only difference was about that and what's going on here in Flint is the fucking people have to pay for it. They paid for poison. And you don't think the governor should be jailed? All them damn heads need to fall. Some bullshit. And now them people don't have no damn water. They telling people to come out their pockets and bring bottled water and help these people in this city. I don't mind. It shouldn't be on the shoulders of the other citizens of this damn state. Because the damn government didn't do their damn fucking jobs. You did your job when it came to them little hooker holes up there that wanted to sit back and be seen. Talking about same-sex marriage. You, you made sure they got their goddamn goal done. Fucker, our kids are going nowhere. Nowhere but jail, prison for life. And I'm sick of it, world. I am. I'm really sick of it. I try my best to let y'all know what's going on out here. I really do, world. Whether you listen to me or not, I don't know. But my thing is like this. I try my best to show you for what it's worth in this world. And this world here is playing us black people on the sideline. We are not participants in this. We are people that stand on the sideline. We are consumers. We're not manufacturers. We're consumers. We don't build shit but jails because our black asses is more in them than anybody other than slavery. You understand, people? The world is not getting any better. It's getting much, much, much worse. When you got lies and cover-ups, such as this Flint issue, such as this Flint issue, well, there's nothing else to say because it's all a bunch of bullshit at the end of the day. 
You know, my heart goes out to everybody up there in Flint. You know, I hate to see that y'all going through this, but I already had y'all in my heart. There's gonna be a donation of Art Vans, Kroger's, I think the one on Woodward and 13 Mile Road. In Royal Oak, I believe that's gonna be taking some water uh, for people this weekend, I believe Saturday. So y'all probably wanna get there to donate your water. Uh, I'll be out of town this weekend, so I'm gonna get this on the air before I leave town. So. Um, you can be more informed, catch the message of uh, going out there to donate for the water for the people in Flint uh, at your nearest Kroger. So I'm going to make sure I get uh, this out here as soon as I can for y'all. I just don't like what I'm seeing, world. We supposed to be having a new, a new world, a new year. And it just don't seem like things are getting any better for the black community and that's where I'm having a problem I just couldn't make it happen I don't know what else to say this is the shame of the way black America is being treated in 2016 world you know 50 years ago or February 16th, 50 years will be for me. All I've seen is racism. Being told I couldn't drink out of this water fountain. I couldn't sit at this lunch counter. Mainstream America has beat the shit out of black America. From enslavery, to civil rights, to everything. And you want to take it away from us. The President of the United States has been more disrespected than any other president in the United States history. Obama has been attacked, disrespected, and everything, and still tries to appease mainstream America to the dislike of their rhetoric. I don't know what to say. I'd just be glad when it'd be a better day. I don't see that happening too soon, so maybe one day. Maybe. If people just stop being so damn prejudiced, maybe a black man might have a chance in America. Maybe. Just like you open the doors to gay rights and same-sex marriage and all that bullshit, maybe you could open the door for black people in civil rights and decent, decent conditions. You poisoned a bunch of people. It's all over national news. That's what y'all think about us. You might as well went in and brought the police to come in there and kill everybody. That's what you're basically doing. And it's sad. The governor needs to go to jail. Now, nah, some of you smart motherfuckers push that. Okay? Governor Snyder needs to be incarcerated for what he's done. It was a crime. You're tuned in to the Detroit Raw Show, one of the hottest shows seen in the city of Detroit, coming out of the city of Detroit with your man, the man, the one and only Mr. Sand, 44 man seen in over 202 countries and provinces around the world. Hey, I get back with you, world. Now I keep you tuned in. Hey, and Flint, keep your head up. Cause your man, Mr. Sam 44 man, I got you, I got you. Detroit Raw, right here, only on YouTube.